Hello, this is Hello Gabius, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to unbox my brand new GoPro Hero 9. There is already the GoPro Hero 10, and so they are having a lot of Black Friday deals. I went to my local PX Postal Exchange here in Fort Bliss, and they had this bad boy for $299. I didn't think it was that bad. I was looking at some videos. That's the comparisons between the 9 and the 10. There's a few, but not that drastic for me to fork out like another $150 for the 10 when uh, I think I can do good for the 9 for now, especially since this is my very, very first GoPro. I am so excited. I'm going to unbox this, tell you everything that's in here, and I'll learn as I go, and I'll tell you the other accessories I got for the GoPro Hero 9. It's very sleek. One of the things that caught my attention uh, to wanting to get the GoPro camera was because it is so tiny. So it's made for those sports enthusiasts and adventurists. And, uh, but, but in my perspective, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to be jumping off cliffs or, or in diving in water or anything like that. Go bike riding and whatnot. What interests me was the weight and the size. I have small hands. I cannot lift 10 pounds to save my life and I couldn't use a regular camera that I normally have and this is the camera that I normally have and let me show you that's my camera and it is just so heavy I can't be dragging that around everywhere we are gonna go to Disney World and I figured no I need to update my game on the camera, have something light, something I can carry. It's not going to weigh down on me and it's not going to take up too much space in my backpack. So this is what I got. So let's open it up. Not too much packaging I notice, uh, but it's fine uh, and it does come with a case so it really attracted me because it comes with a case. I can easily put this in my backpack for when we're traveling around Disney World. It doesn't weigh anything actually, but we'll see with the accessories how much it weighs. It shouldn't weigh a lot though. Either way, it is so sleek, so small, it's a hard case. So zipper closure and oh my god look at how tiny I need to get my ruler so I can measure this little tiny camera let's see how much it measures so here it's about two and a half wow by one and a half wow tiny tiny wow look at it I never thought I'll see a camera like this I'm late in the game guys there might be millions already out there but this is my first one and this is already my baby okay so it comes with the camera and I noticed that it has a dual screen so screen in the back and also screen for like I guess selfies so this is the actual camera here so when you record you'll be looking at this side but we'll get into that let's see what else we got so it looks like we got some I guess these are attachments for maybe if you're going to be putting on your tripod and or wherever you're going to be using your little camera battery and then this is I guess the feed that you can maybe insert this it's a self-adhesive tape here 3m tape here and i noticed that it is curved and i believe this might be like for like curvature services like helmets and things like that and then this is something that you can attach it here and then you can attach your uh your gopro camera from there so it comes with that it comes with the charging cord um, it is on it is a USB, but it also has the C cool It has a little pocket here mesh pocket and more goodies inside subscribe to GoPro uh, And it gives you a link here And then it just tells you how to begin how to start charging it. You do need a micro SD card I haven't gotten that yet. I totally forgot 
but I will definitely get that. And then it just tells you, yep. So this is like for a helmet because there's a picture here of a helmet. And it just tells you how to put it on and, and so forth and some cool stickers. More information and there you go. You have a cool mesh pocket here. I will just keep this here. So let's open up this little teeny camera. I'm gonna call it my baby now. So we do have a screen protector for the camera, screen protector for the little screen here. And then on the other side, there is another screen protector. So when you're gonna record, you record this way so you can see what you're recording. But if you're gonna do like a selfie mode um, and or picture as well, this is the camera you're looking at yourself and you can see exactly if, you know, if you're in frame, if you're focused and things like that. On the side, you can see that it is the GoPro Hero 9. And then here is, uh, turn it off and on here. And then here is to start recording. And then here, I believe this little teeny door is to put your, your battery in here. And I'll figure out how to open this. And then these are the little feet that will grab on to your attachments like this. And then if you don't need them, you can just put them back in very sleek. It's not going to snag on anything. Oh my God, I love it. So I need to get this connected to start charging it. So I do need to put the battery. The battery is so tiny. I can't get over how tiny this battery is. Wow. Okay. Okay, hey, to open this little door for the um, put in the battery was a little challenging. At least it is for me. I do have fake nails. I'm surprised the $7 Walmart price on nails has stayed on for as long as they have. It's about going on two weeks now. So that's pretty good for seven bucks. But let's put this little battery in and there you go and then here you can also see a little slot where the micro SD card will be um, so now here is the where your charging cord and then the USB I don't want to remove the film off the little uh, screens and the camera just yet um, but you can see the little red light and it lets you know that it is charging uh, also from what I've seen, this little camera lens also is replaceable um, and or upgradable as well. Um, like I said, I'm not this big old high tech. I need the most powerful, most uh, accurate and or best camera out there. I'm not going to really fuss too much on the extra accessories because I just need it for short trips and stuff. I wanted this camera because of the size and the weight. And the practicality, really, this looks like you could just even put it in your pocket once you're done. How cute is that? So, I'm going to leave that there. Now, let's see some of the accessories that I got with this. So, um, I picked this up at Best Buy. And uh, this is actually the media attachment, I believe it's called. And this is supposed to be an external microphone. And I wanted to get that because I believe that... It's going to be, be very loud where we're going and I want to be able to at least hear myself speak. I'm very, uh, I don't have such a high voice and so um, I think that with the help of a, of a microphone is going to be good. So that's why I decided to get this. So with this microphone, you get another one of these foot attachments just like the one here that came for the helmet. You get another one of these little screwdrivers. And what this is, is an actual case. It's gonna surround the camera, and this is the microphone right here. Um, and it has the on and off button here that's gonna connect to it. It does have two cold shoes here for extra attachments, like another external mic uh, and or light and another cold shoe here. 
and then when you connect it it has other media outlets right here which is pretty cool and I thought that maybe this was gonna make it a lot bigger and it really is not so I'm gonna still play with it and test out the audio and see so this one I also had a hard time opening up this I don't know why they make them so hard so that's how you open it and as you can see here then I'll wait until this finishes charging but you pretty much slide the camera in here and then you close it up and there you go this also comes with an extra um, wind little sensor foam which is cute you always want to have these little fluffy things it just makes it like more professional looking i guess really cute so there you go i also got the dual battery charger this one is for the hero 9 um, which is this camera here and they highly recommend it i get extra batteries so this was $49.99 at my local postal exchange. Look at how cute this little battery charger. It's just so tiny. And then of course the battery. So now I have two. And this one you will plug in here like so. And then it comes with another USB-C charger. You're going to go take her? Okay. No, I'm from this door. Best Buy. You are? Oh, that's where you left it? At Best Buy? Yes. Yeah. Can you get me then in, in a micro SD card, honey, 128 yes. gigs? Thank yes. you, honey. Thank you. So this comes with a charger, the extra battery. The adapter for it and extra literature and then of course a little card here to show you how to um, put in the batteries and to indicate charging and the process of charging so cool now we have two cords I like that so far so good so my desk has a built-in USB charger and I am going to connect my little extra battery now and there you go, it's a yellow light. So again, with a picture, if it's yellow, it's charging. And then if it's green, it's complete. The last item I got is the actual uh, arm grip and, and tripod. So this one, this was pricey. This was $70. I ended up getting this one again at my local postal exchange. Purchasing there because we're military, we don't pay taxes. So that kind of helps for expensive items such as these. And uh, I needed to get a grip because obviously you're gonna do selfies and you're gonna be recording and you wanna hold the camera. Uh, and so I got this one and they really recommended this one because of how it bends and uh, how it extends. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. So I see it has a lifetime warranty information and that's all it came with, no other paperwork. And I see that there is another uh, screw mount here, which is pretty cool. Here is already here, uh, this is where you push to unlock. And then I'm feeling the grip and again, um, I don't have a big grip and I cannot hold, for example, a grip if it was like, let's say this big, cause then uh, my arm and my wrist gets fatigued. So I need something very small that I can grab, not too heavy. And I think this is perfect. So this is a little intimidating. These arms look kind of weird. I guess I was just used to the telescopic ones, like those selfie sticks. But it looks like here is where you will put your camera. And so you will use then your camera with the two feet. You can it open up here, you do it. And then you use the uh, screw that was provided on this end. 
And that is how you will attach that. And then you can loosen, loosen up and tighten them here on each of these little elbows. And I mean, you can, here is another one that you can lighten up and, and so there's two of them. So if I extended it completely, it extends to here, it says up to 20 inches. So it says it's a three way from seven and a half to 20 inches. And it also becomes a little tripod. And that is where I am wondering, how do you get your little tripod? Because I don't see it. So what is this? Okay. Cute. Okay, so this is it. So this could either be, I'm assuming, um, this is your little tripod here, and then you will screw it on this end. So there you go. That is how you can then use it. Little tripod. So then the, that is how you can do it. And you can extend it this way if you're taking selfies. Um, and it's not heavy. That is what I'm looking for. It's not heavy. Um, also, I notice that I'm doing this. I just need to tighten this up a little more. Because let's say if I'm running or if I'm doing something, uh, this is not going to go loose. Cool. And this is really hard plastic. It looks like it's metal but it's not. I really like it. So, and then here, it's not gonna, like, let's say, smash your, your hand. Not that it's heavy enough to do it, but you will then push this blue button, unlocks it, and then you can close it up completely, and you can put it in your little case. So, I want so I'm trying to put the audio case on my little camera, and uh, you cannot put it with a door that encases the battery uh, and this removes. And uh, that is pretty awesome actually, because you didn't break it, it didn't break off. It's meant to do that because you need to access this little port here to charge it. And if you notice that that's where that uh, USB-C attachment is there and that is where we have to insert it. So you can charge it. Ta -da! Oui. There you go. So if I need to charge it, I need to access it from back here now. I have a micro uh, HDMI and I'm noticing that it catches the noise reducer little cushion but let's charge it so that should be charging i'm trying to find some kind of like like a light or oh there it is so i know that it is plugged in everything's connecting um Cool, I love it. So let's see if everything fits. Our extra battery, our battery charger, arm pole extension, our camera, our media encasing the camera, an extra feed and all of the little attachments here, they fit. And done, everything that you need I'm still missing these cords, but they'll easily fit. Is in here. You could easily put this in your backpack. It doesn't even have to be a big bag. And there you go. I can travel around the park here with this. I'm so happy. That is my haul for my brand new GoPro Hero 9. I look forward to using it. So I'm going to finish charging it up and then start using it. Thank you for watching.